Hello. Our presentation to you is all about the Media Watch episode uh, that was released on Sunday, the 2nd, I believe, or no, 1st of August, and it is all about the Tokyo Olympics and the media coverage of the games that are currently taking place. Okay. Um, people will be celebrating across New Zealand with the first medal being won in Tokyo and the song um, that was played, uh, We Are the Champions by Queen. The first medal was won by Grace Prendergast and Kerry Gala in rowing and that meant New Zealand only just jumped Fiji in the medals table. Uh, former Olympic medal champion rower Eric Murray told TVNZ this would inspire others with medal races to row like Emma Twerk as he said, while people will be watching saying, if Kerry and Grace can do it, then I know I'm on speed. It's my time to go out semi and do it. So she'll be focus focusing on that now. Presumably Emma Twig wasn't on speed when she won the gold medal. That's definitely on the brand band list. News Talk ZB's ho host Simon Barnett joked about Twig's highly fancied rival Russia being a drug cheat. The afternoon, afternoon host at SENZ, Mark Stefford, was having a hard time holding the good news in. We are beside ourselves with joy. I'm stuck in at Soundproof Radio getting texts from people all over the country who are going nuts at work. I'm not allowed to go nuts because I'm on the radio. And the day before that, when Grace Prendergast and Kerry Gala won the medal and excited Lisa Owens on RNZ, point, asked them how they did it. And the new champion told Lisa, um, rowing was a lot simpler, saying they just have to race from A to B as fast as they can. The pair explained to One News host Simon Dello on the air, you must be stoked on so many levels, with their reply being, yeah, it's honestly surreal, but we were just literally over the moon and couldn't be happier. Can I just make a point of it? If you're going to do that, can you paraphrase what is said rather than reading it word for word? Because I want to hear your interpretation of it rather than too much of just a, you know, because it takes too long as well. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So the uh, men's, uh, the rugby sevens team came uh, second to uh, Fiji and Fiji won the gold medal, which we then received the silver medal. And the look upon our rugby players' faces was not that impressive. They, uh, it has been labelled silver sadness uh, by the media. Uh, the media are making it out that New Zealand was highly disappointed that we didn't win the gold medal. I have to say, as a spectator, I was disappointed that we didn't win the gold medal. But on the whole, it was nice to see Fiji uh, get a second consecutive uh, gold medal. The last that they received, obviously, was in Rio 2016. They were all uh, in tears of joy, uh, which was another uh, phrase that was used by the media as well. As Nicole said before, um, Simon Barnett, who is a News Talk ZB host in the afternoon, he has a drive show, uh, he was commenting about uh, the, the race with Emma Twig. Uh, of course, Eric Murray, who was in the TVNZ studio, was saying that Emma is an inspiration to all young rowers. Um, however, Simon basically brought that mood down and said that the only reason that she won it was probably because uh, her Russian counterpart, who is called Hannah Prakastin, I believe her name is pronounced, um, is indeed a, a drug cheat. This comes after Russia was uh, banned from the Olympic Games uh, and this year they are only allowed to compete those who are uh, presumably producing uh, uh, negative tests for all sorts of drugs um, and they're competing under the Russian Olympic Committee flag, uh, not as the uh, Republic of Russia. And here is just a short clip of what uh, Simon Barnett said. I know. I saw that uh, Kazakhstan though from the Russian Olympic Committee, and I thought, mm, yeah, I don't know whether well, steroids are played. <laughs> <laughs> the, the drugs didn't kick in. <laughs> they didn't kick in. She took them too late. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so basically, he's making a mockery of of her uh, competing and coming second. Um, that is kind of a little bit bad sportsmanship because that has now just totally blown our stance as being a really sportsmanship-like team. Uh, it's just ruined our sort of our, our look. Uh, not saying that we pride ourselves on being sportsmanship-like, but New Zealand is traditionally a very you know sportsmanship uh, team. And that is an image of Simon Barnett on the left and his co-host Phil Gifford on the right. Oh, now the phenomenal black firms. Um, they were the toast of um, Tokyo on Saturday night after defeating France 
26 to 12 to become Olympic champions for the first time. Five years after coming second to Australia in the final in Rio, and days after the men's team won silver, coming second, sorry, winning silver, the Black Ferns were devastated, were deserved winners over France tonight as their dominant 26 to 12 victory. On the bright side in the episode of the Media Watch podcast, it was said by TVNZ presenter Scotty Stevens that he thanked the team for their hard work. But on the darker side, meanwhile, Sen's radio hosts were describing the game as a bit rubbish due to the lack of fans in the stadium, but speaking truthfully, we know this due to COVID-19 restrictions. Oh, right. oh my God. Yes. Um, the hosts of Sen's were quick to dismiss the achievement due to COVID-19 um, COVID restrictions. The Olympic Games don't have crowds, and therefore Sen's hosted state that the games were not worth watching due to the lack of fans and crowds. Uh, they were said that when they were all competing the games, it would feel a bit dirty, as this was a mock overall that the Sens made a joke about claiming the games were going to be in Brisbane, we'll have more crowds in 2032. And we have just some references at the end. Thank you. Okay, so just while you're there, so what, what was your view of that particular media watch presentation you gave us a lot of description about what happened um but what you know what are your recommendations what do you think do you think that the arguments that media watch put forward were valid i felt that in many cases of that media watch uh, uh episode they were a little bit out of line with some of the comments that they made. They said that the We Are The Champions song was a bad taste because they didn't play that the night before when Fiji won. I think that Media Watch were forgetting that we are not Fiji, we're New Zealand, so we're gonna celebrate more when our country wins, not when another country wins. Mm -hmm. And I felt that the, re the comment that he made uh, of it being of bad taste really didn't it didn't suit the sort of mood of the podcast, which then was fairly positive um, later on, and that was at the very start. So when I listened to that, I immediately got a bit of a negative view of what he was saying. Uh, the We Are The Champion song was used by TVNZ, so um, there were sort of other lines of the, the song that he was picking up on, um, you know, um, I can't remember the song lines exactly, but um, something like um, kick in the face or something like that, which they uh, were saying that is of bad taste because we were then versing Fiji in the semi-finals and this is this big thing that we're going to do. and, and it, kind of took away from the excitement of us winning our first gold medal at these games mm -hmm. as opposed to us uh, being all stubborn saying no no we're not going to support Fiji which is not what happened at all we were very celebratory of Fiji winning they don't win that many medals mm -hmm. um, and it, it kind of just ruined that that for me um, from my perspective um, and that would be the only sort of critique that I'd have of that. Sure. Um, what about the rest of you? No, I agree with Sam. I think that, like, you know, like he was saying about the um, song, I think it was an appropriate song. Like, I think the way that New Zealand celebrated is the way that New Zealand would celebrate, and I don't think there's anything wrong with that. That's pretty much all I have to say. And anything else about that, that program that you kind of pick up on? Mm, no. I think Sens were kind of making jokes but on my hands when I did the TVNZ reporter, it was more like a thankful um, suggestion to it. You'd expect from New Zealand media that they would be uh, more positive to us winning a gold medal instead of saying, well, these Olympics essentially don't count because there's no one there to watch them, forgetting that they're currently the most watched and most televised Olympic Games in history. Uh, so the, the audience is far greater than what it may seem in the stadiums. Um, and that is sort of something that, again, it just took away from us being able to be happy and, and celebrate the success mm -hmm. of our athletes mm -hmm. and have a, a far more negative tone mm -hmm. towards the story. Sure. So we're now, whenever I unfortunately will see sins, I'll think, oh, well, they're just not happy for us when we succeed. They're saying that we're not going to, the next three Olympics until you get to Brisbane um, in 2032 won't count. It's mm. like, well, that's not true. Mm. Uh, they're setting world records. It's just not an awful lot of people are there to see it yeah. happen. Except yeah. if you're watching on a television screen, 